Closed captioning for the Casey Malone Show is sponsored by Hunter Stevens Land Title Agency. Integrity, service, and commitment you can trust. Oh, yeah. Casey Malone is serving up local. It's time for the stories of our region, the tastes, the sights, the sounds, and the people in and around the valley. Get ready for some local flavor on the Casey Malone Show. Today I visit the Walnut Grove. It's an all-accessible playground. And I make farro salad with Jill. It's a perfect summer dish. But first, we head back down to Lisbon and check in with Reddy. One of the most beautiful and stunning environments to enjoy great food is right here in Lisbon, Ohio at the Courthouse Inn and Restaurant. And soon, Spa, which will be opening up. Rennie Lewis and her husband Michael are the owner and proprietors. And a few years ago when you first opened, you know, we had to come down and feature this gorgeous place. And now, I mean, it is just full steam ahead. Thank you. You have just transformed with the oldest brick building State in Ohio. Ohio. Yes. And vegetarian comfort food, because that is what you enjoy. Yes. And when you're in, because she spends half her time between New York and uh, Lisbon, you have really pulled this together. Thank you. It wasn't easy. Coming <laughs> from, you know, a jewelry design background, yeah. this definitely wasn't your forte. How did you finally get all of the elements together to have such a delicious, inviting, I mean, everything now is in place? Yes, it's, it's exactly where I want it to be, find me. It's taken two and a half years. But that's the short term. It took 11 years to restore the building, so the two and a half years it's taken to get the restaurant to this point is um, amazing in retrospect that it took that small of amount of time. But I have to say that the most difficult part of it is uh, finding talent. Um, you know, I can restore a building and I love it and it's fun and you know, that is the easy part, finding talent. And you know, they have to share your vision and your passion for, you know, delicious food because you use locally sourced ingredients. This menu is incredible and I love the way, you know, you have the Thank seasonal you. changes. We change the menu uh, every couple of weeks because whatever comes in season is what we're going to feature. And of course, now we're in season. So it's exciting because this week I was shucking peas and, you know, we had fresh peas and strawberries are over. And, Blueberries just began and red raspberries just began and you know corn is here and it's coming and you know cucumbers are here. There's just so much locally and then during the winter we have a lot of local purveyors that have greenhouses and they do hydroponic foods and uh, we're able to access that. Lots of fresh herbs, lots of fresh lettuces, kale, vegetables, you know we can still get in the winter. but. I have to say that is the easy part. The hard part is finding people who actually have my vision and who want to uh, work, who actually want to work. That's the difficult thing. And then of course you have customers and you know, it's so different than jewelry because I'm removed from the customer. I make the jewelry, I do what I want. Exactly, and that this is the offering, and either you love it, you buy it, or you, or don't, you don't. Buy it. It's yeah. fine. Pass. You know, <laughs> yeah. move on. So I don't, I don't have to deal with people, whereas here I have to deal with people and their idiosyncrasies on all levels, be it customer or be an employee, and that's the difficult part. It, it also goes into your desserts. I mean, you are very finicky and you are very particular oh, yeah. about the ingredients used in your cakes and pies. Everything has to be butter. All our eggs are from hens that actually have a life. They're not just what you call free range. They're hens that actually fly, forage for their food. They eat the things that they're supposed to eat. Uh, so everything we do use is natural. It's not vegan, although we do have vegan options, but we do use cheeses. We use European cheeses because it's a higher quality of of uh, fat and it's a higher quality of product and uh, butters and you know we try and give you the best food money can buy and that's what we do we're not really profit oriented believe me this is not a <laughs> yes. profit oriented business 
This is no model for anyone. Rennie's Folly. What is your favorite part of being a restaurateur? Going to the farms and getting the food. Dealing with the farmers, talking to them, getting them to grow certain things for me that I want. Purple potatoes, purple carrots, um, purple, I mean colorful vegetables and seeing how, I mean knowing it was just picked this morning yeah. and seeing how happy the farmers are that like I'm gleeful to go there. And they're so happy that you're so excited about what they just and have grown. Exactly, and it's so much fun. I go to usually four farms a day and most of the farmers are Mennonites and you know we have great conversations about their life and my life and you know it's just a wonderful day it's a wonderful morning after breakfast I go and uh, that's my favorite part getting the food sourcing the food it's beautiful it's fun and is the customer always right are they always right or do you sometimes think you know you need to educate them oh I always need to educate them yes they you know they're seldom right frankly you know they they really um, there's a misconception. I can't tell you how many people come here and say, this is a vegan restaurant. And I'm like, no, it's a vegetarian restaurant. What's the difference? Well, right there, they don't know the difference between vegetarian and vegan, and vegan means you have no dairy or nothing, yes. nothing that is given of the animal, whether it's freely or not freely. Whereas vegetarian, we're gonna eat cheese, we're gonna eat butter, we're gonna eat milk. You know, we're just not gonna kill to get our food. So. Just that, when you realize that they don't know the difference between vegan and vegetarian, there's the learning curve. So, you know, it's fun to try and educate them. It's, it's, it's good, you know, it's all good at the end of the meal when they say it was fabulous. That's when it's good. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. Summer means magic tree. Look at this patio. This is one of my favorite places to be on a summer night. Casey, we have all the things going on here at the magic tree on our beautiful patio. We have the Saturday summer music series, not to mention all the other goodies like our seasonal menu. Absolutely. Oh, That's our can of chips, our cedar plank salmon. And this is our Casey and the Sunshine Salad. How you like that? And oh then our gosh, seasonal drinks. That's wow. our mermaid water, and it ain't no water, by the way. Oh. And this is our fresh blueberry mule. Oh, that is beautiful. And I'm telling you, what is your slogan? Come to the magic tree to eat, drink, and celebrate. And I say repeat. Summertime is here, the living is easy. Get to the magic tree. Cheers. Cheers. Mayflower Wilm is your full service independent insurance agency. We work with several insurance companies to offer you choices for your insurance needs. We'll find the right product at the right price. Personal, business, farm, life, trust Mayflower Wilm. You focus on what's important, we'll take care of the details. Mayflower Wilm, close by with three locations to serve you. Five Buck Burger Mondays at Sadie's Place, inside the Best Western, Route 46, Austin Town. Here at the Upstairs, we cater to everyone. When you come through the door, I treat you as though you're my friend. So there's all kinds of options here at the Upstairs. There's something on that menu for everyone. Great food, friendly service, very clean restaurant. There's a lot of restaurants, a lot of good restaurants in our community. So I always feel honored when someone comes here. I want everybody coming through that door to leave here with a good experience. Woolley Brothers has a great choice of quality cheeses. We use our relationship with Old World Houses to specially select the product and then have it custom cut and packaged by our own local artisans. Find it all at Woolley Brothers, home of the famous Evening Express. There's a new standard in assisted living, one that combines comfort, 
luxury, convenience, and the highest quality expert care. Your loved ones can experience it now in Canfield's premier senior living location. The Inn at Ironwood offers fine dining and amenities such as a concierge, salon, housekeeping, and laundry services. And a truly elegant setting in Canfield. Call us for more information or visit us and take a tour. The Inn at Ironwood, Canfield's premier senior living location. Well, it took some bribery, but I finally got my girlfriend, uh, Jo Landau, into my kitchen. Hello. She prepared this Pharaoh salad for a party a few weeks ago, and I've been making it consistently every week. I absolutely <laughs> love this recipe. You know, I cook once, and everybody's <laughs> so shocked. <laughs> <laughs> well, you really hit it out of the ballpark with this one. Thank you. You know, it, it could be vegetarian. Uh, it's extremely healthy. Yes, it is. It is my first introduction to farro. Oh, okay. Which is a really nice grain. It's got a nutty texture. It's filling. And let's talk about um, now our nutritional okay. benefits from well, this. Well, I know that one half cup of farro has seven grains is excuse me seven grams of protein yes. so it's it's really healthful for you less than 100 calories okay. in that cup sounds right and it also has i have notes magnesium <laughs> niacin zinc and iron and it's loaded with antioxidants yes and of course a lot of fiber right so it's really good and you're just gonna love this. And it's filling. You know, it really expands. And we've tweaked the recipe that you found. Yes, I found the recipe um, in Jessica Seinfeld's cookbook called Food Swings. Mm -hmm. And we kind of changed it up a little bit to, you know, give it a little bit of a... Well, to personalize it, because there's certain yeah. flavors that I thought were missing. And I think, you know, you added the onion, and I love that green onion addition. Yeah. Um, I've added this, um, my new herb called Lovage and I had this growing in my garden my friend gave me the plant and I started using it and it's very um, it's warm and has a little bit of spice and it has a very strong celery taste they don't really sell this in the stores but if you get the stock from um, like celery, celery and cut the leaves you it can will serve it. that and then instead of boiling my um, Farrow in water. I like a stock. I think that's a great idea. You know, this yeah. is chicken stock, but if you want to go total vegetarian, you can use vegetable stock or even beef stock. But it really, um, I think it just adds another dimension to the flavors. And I, I cannot wait to share this with everyone. And let's I appreciate go. you coming in. So let's go over this recipe list. <laughs> and uh, we'll get you all the ingredients and then we'll start making Jill's Farrow salad. For this recipe, you'll need one cup of farro, three cups of water, chicken or vegetable stock, one head of broccoli thinly sliced, six radishes halved and thinly sliced, two green onions chopped fine, white and green parts included, one half cup basil leaves cut into ribbons, one quarter cup flat leaf parsley chopped, one quarter cup lovage chopped fine, one chunk of Parmesan cheese, Dressing, you'll need one quarter cup of fresh squeezed lemon juice, one half cup of extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper to taste. So get a fairly large dish right. to mix this. And we just pulled this off of the stove. Right, you cook the farro for about 20 to 30 minutes until it's soft. And then you just, you drain it and you run some cold water out over it. So to you shock it, so right, it's nice. So you don't have to wait um, for it to cool. Okay, so right. we'll start with the base of the farro. Right, we're going to add the chopped broccoli, which you chopped the stems also, right? Really, yes. really thin. Really thin. If you have a mandolin, but look, you know, I think a lot of people waste that, but look at that. As and it gives it a nice crunch. Right, as long as they're really thin, you can use them. And then the, the six radishes. Love that. Love the radishes. And this is such, it's a crunchy salad. It really is good. And then I would add the green onion. And then the herbs. The basil's nice. 
love parsley, and you're gonna love my love it. I certainly <laughs> hope so. <laughs> okay, and then you mix it, and are you gonna make, make the dressing? I am gonna make the dressing. All it is, is, you know, about third to a half a cup of extra virgin olive oil. We'll get that going here. We'll add the lemon juice. And then salt and pepper. You know, salt is very, very important here. And then fresh ground pepper. And that's it. It's a very easy vinaigrette. And I usually wait to put the chunked Parmesan cheese on after the dressing. Now, I also like, you know, the Locatella, the um, Romano cheese. So there we go. Blend it well, and we're just gonna pour the whole thing over it. Great. Okay. And I do think it's good if you let it sit for a few hours in uh, the fridge. I agree. You know, because then the, the flavors really meld together. But I mean, look at what a beautiful, healthy salad that is. And it's That's loaded it. with taste. Well, Jill, for the pairing, I know you're a fan of the kava. Yes, I am. And you know, bubbly goes with absolutely everything. And I don't think Indeed. you've tried this one. No, I haven't. It's from uh, Cordonu, and it is called Anna. And they also make a pink, but this is a Blanc de Blanc. <gasps> Great. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you fun. for coming you for and making me. this. Mm. It is so light and refreshing, just like your salad. Yes. So let's give it a try. What okay. do you think? You haven't had it with the stock yet, have you? No, it's really good. Mm. And the lavage. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm just fighting you on that. I'm not sure. No, I think you added too much. But it really is good. Make this once. And honestly, even though it is so healthy, everybody's going to love it. It really is delicious. So for the recipe, just go to my website, CaseyMaloneShow.com, and look for Jill's Faro Faro. Not sure of that proper pronunciation. <laughs> either. Salad, and you'll find it right there. I really, really thank you. Thanks. You're going to love it. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Bernard. I've been giving the people of our valley free advice for 30 years, and my message has never changed. If you're involved in an automobile accident, don't try to handle it yourself. Call a lawyer. A lawyer will be your representative, dealing with doctors, medical insurance, and all the red tape that you may encounter. Hiring a lawyer doesn't mean you'll end up in court. And remember, there are no upfront fees on personal injury cases. That's good advice. Need a lawyer? Learn more at ElizabethBernardLaw.com. To own a business where your name's on the window can be pretty cool. That's my family. My name is Danny Catullo, and I'm the owner of Catullo Prime Meats. My grandfather started the business in 1962. I was able to take our old style butcher shop and bring it out to the new age using e-commerce to get our products to more customers. When we started shipping, there was not a ton of information out there. That's where we really worked with FedEx so they could be able to help us with our perishable shipping. We were taking on new purchases that we never had to make before. Boxes, coolers, ice packs, anything that was involved around shipping. So we can no longer do this with the cash that we had on hand. So because of the plum card from American Express and all of its benefits, it was a natural fit to help grow our business. And when someone calls and lets you know that you made their dinner, that's satisfaction that you can't get anywhere else. Open the Jewel Box, the Courthouse Inn, organic vegetarian comfort food, handcrafted cocktails, fine wine and beer, fresh baked cakes and pies. Recharge your senses at the Courthouse Spa. 
dazzling dining, artfully prepared locally sourced ingredients, spa services. The Courthouse Inn feels like a world away just down the road in historic Lisbon, Ohio. It's time to get real about getting engaged. Real experts you can count on. Real pricing and financing for your budget. And really one of a kind engagement rings. That are unique as she is. Get real, get Kamara. Get real, get Kamara. In the Cool Creek Plaza in Canfield. Four for five till six. Happy hour at Sadie's Place inside the Best Western, Route 46, Austin Town. At Rooley Brothers, the family is in the store. Meats, deli, produce, even the checkout. We work hard to ensure that you get the best products at a personal shopping experience. At Rooley Brothers Markets, our customers are our top priority. Our family is in the store. Well, phase one is nearing completion here at the Walnut Grove Playground. And Shelly Duchek is the president of the board. Excuse me very much. And this really is an amazing undertaking. Oh my gosh, it is fantastic. We have had community volunteers. We've had community donations. We would not have this place without the community. It's awesome. And, you know, I've never even really realized, you know, playgrounds, you see them everywhere. Mm -hmm. But you don't realize that they're not that accessible for disabled kids. Yeah. And what, what put that into your, uh, you know, uh, why did this all come to be? Well, the individual who donated the property to us had a desire to help children with disabilities so a group of community members came over to talk just get together and see what the community needed and we don't want to duplicate services so we wanted something new and we came up with this idea that we needed an outdoor recreational venue that was conducive to kids of all abilities so out of that dream honestly of the design plan the playground was the very last thing we came up with yeah. <laughs> our, our playground was going to be just a couple swings and now you can see by the time we're done it's going to be an acre big i mean and then you're just plan on expanding more and more yeah. and what's awesome is this is all through volunteerism and private donations. All private donations, um, volunteer time. Um, we've gotten some wonderful services donated to help us. And this project is bigger than just this playground. I mean, we plan for Miracle League fields. So we'll have a baseball, a track. Um, behind the playground, there's the actually accessible walking trails. So there will be nature trails through the wetlands. There's a bridge that connects to the Mill Creek Metro Parks bikeway. So there's all kinds of stuff for people to do when they come out here. And then are you reaching out to the different organizations that help, you know, the, the children um, with disabilities? I mean, are they giving you some really good suggestions? Yeah, you know, when we were putting the playground design together, we kind of just said, and we talked to parents a lot, what do you need? And one of the things that really came out is that there's no place for a family to go and play in this area. So if you have a child who's in a wheelchair, he, where's he gonna go play with his sister? Cause he can't get onto the play equipment going through the mulch and the rock. So this is a place where families can come together and just create memories and have fun. And it's inclusive. So you can play with your friends, you can play with your cousins and just enjoy. There's no barriers on this playground. Um, and we ask that people when they do come out here, remember that it is all volunteers running this park. We don't have anybody on staff. So please throw your trash away, you know, keep the park clean. Um, and we're still in the fundraising stage, yeah. right? We're still accepting funds. Yeah, we absolutely are. What you're looking at is really just the beginning of what we want to do. We have a dream to make an entire playground that is going to be an acre big. So if you, when you look around here, there's not a swing on this playground. Yeah. We need to add swings. We have plans for a zip line. We're putting in a sand pit and we have this huge imagination area where there's a pretend fire truck that anybody can wheel up and just drive the fire truck from the top, the bottom. We have talk tubes so the people at the front of the truck can talk to the back. I mean, we, we tried to include everything we could possibly think of in this playground. So there is something for everybody. Amanda is also on the board and I, as I look at all this equipment, how do you know to order what has inclusive 
you know, play materials. So, so when we were looking at each piece that was being put on this playground, we wanted to look at whether it was, um, it did sensory, it encompassed um, motor skills, cognitive and social skills. And I'm looking at this because we actually made a book um, where each piece of equipment that we have, we thought of these four things first and foremost, so that every child, every adult, whether you have a handicap, a disability, you can come out to our property and you can use it. So if you have a son who is in a wheelchair, but you have two typical daughters, where are they gonna play? Well, when they come out here, they can play on everything. He can go up on the ramps, he can go down the slides, he can pull himself on stuff. Um, there's actually, if you have autism, we have little spaces all over where you can kind of go in, get that sensory overload out of the way. You're in a, the way we have a little cozy dome behind us and you can hide in there, get away from the noise, get away from the people. So each piece of equipment that is on our property has a specific purpose. How much property has been donated? So you, you're looking at an acre of just playground so how much do you have to work with 20 acres 20 acres i'm gonna build a house in the back <laughs> okay. wouldn't that be you awesome yes but i'll be like the caretaker <laughs> <laughs> we could use you're hired <laughs> no this really is a, a wonderful project it really is and do you come up with like ideas of um you know with your board and all your volunteers yeah, everything is done through volunteers we we make all decisions through a board um, we are a 501c3 so we are run like a true board well we are a true board um, any decisions that are made they're made in a group um, and everything that all the decisions that we do made they're very well thought out and we have checks and balances in place because we do have a mission The Casey Malone Show is sponsored in part by Denise and John York and the DeBartlow Corporation.